Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a, how to add a speech to your program. It's pretty cool, and maybe you think, uh, oh no, this is too uh, difficult, so I, c I uh, go and look somewhere else. But it's pretty easy. Or oh, actually, it's just uh, super easy. So just follow me. So open up a standard exe. I like for the text to speech. Um, program something like this and change the ca caption to speech now wait a second text to speech and actually I know <laughs> finally I know how to speak it or how to spell it so I made it a fixed single as you saw and add a text box of course for the input so input it there and yeah just like this now I'm gonna add a button of course and change the caption to uh, speech and delete the uh, text of text one double click on speech to get the code so let's see dim um no, wait a second. Dim. Str speech as string or whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. I like to use uh, str speech from string speech. So, oh, lowercase s. So, str speech equals text one dot text. Now, go to set oh, set um obg no, obg speech um equals create ob object God. create object bracket then a quotation mark and then type in sapi dot sp voice close the, bra uh, the quotation and the bracket too press enter and now you made a object called ob obg speech so now go to obg speech dot speak and then the string that we want to say and that's str speech no speech so and that was the code, uh, pretty easy I think. So uh, what it does, it will use the uh, default uh, computer default uh, uh, text to or the speech and speech engine for uh, I don't know for Vista. I don't know how to call it. Uh, something with Anna. Uh, it's a female voice. At least that's uh, what that's what I think. And uh, uh, Microsoft Sam is for XP, and it sounds pretty weird. Uh, you need to check it out uh, if you have XP. So just type in hello, just H E L L O, and it sounds very weird. So uh, let's test it out by clicking on the arrow or the play button and then type in something. Hello, YouTube. This was a stream cast tutorial by. Uh, sometimes it says something pretty weird, so you need to add a dot. A dot is just to pause a couple of seconds, uh, just what uh, a half of second or something. So you can use it to make your own kind of like thing because some sometimes it will say something pretty weird. So let's check it out. But if you press on speech, it's just like if it isn't reacting, but actually it does. But you can't change uh, this uh, text anymore, and you can't can't click on that until it's ready with speaking. So let's test it out. Hello, this was a tutorial by Do you hear it uh, another time? And hello, YouTube. This was a screencast tutorial by Game Okay, uh, this is uh, pretty handy if you don't want to use your own voice in your tutorials. Uh, so uh, thanks again, and uh, oh wait a second, I didn't say thanks. Uh, thanks, I mean. So uh, thanks uh, for watching this uh, video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Uh, my email address at the description of the video, of course. 
and um, please visit our site at www.gameteam.png.com um, uh, sadly to say but my uh, the for forum I wanna make I was ma making you know those requesting form uh, it's just uh, it doesn't work so I'll try to check the errors but it says something pretty weird so uh, you need to wait for that so thanks again and I'll catch you later